Hey guys, I figured today we'd knock out an empties video. I have quite a lot going on as always, you know me. I finish products up and I save my empties for the month and then I share with you what I liked, what I didn't like, etc. Usually the products that are here I don't so much dislike as I don't recommend because it, I might not think they're worth it, but they're a decent product generally. I only strongly recommend very, very excellent things. Um, and I'm not one of those people who just like kind of likes something therefore I recommend it or including it, include it in favorites or whatever. No. Um, things that I don't like I don't use up. These things I liked enough to use up. However, that doesn't mean that I would recommend all of them. So let's hit the ground running. Let's start with hair. First and foremost, Lowen sent me some stuff to try and some of their products I really enjoy. Look at my lost favorites to see um to see which ones i really really enjoyed these not so much they were fine but this is a shampoo and conditioner and they were just okay i didn't feel like they were very special they're a clean line which is lovely they're cruelty free which is also lovely but i just didn't think it was anything special my rawa does a lot more for my hair than lowen's did uh i think you wouldn't regret purchasing them but i don't necessarily think that they're the star of their collection at all um, and I would recommend you look elsewhere for, for good shampoos and conditioners. The other hair thing that I'd like to talk about is this Colorista, uh, Colorista semi-permanent color. This is hashtag purple 400. This is by L'Oreal. Uh, very affordable pick. Uh, I generally don't go nuts doing stuff to my hair. I'm very, very low maintenance when it comes to my hair. But I, I have to speak about this. I have dyed my hair purple a few months ago. Uh, I haven't dyed it. My, my colorist dyed it purple, my hairdresser, um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, but if you know purple, you know that purple fades from, from bleached hair quite quickly. So I did lose some color over the maybe a couple of months. And then I thought I wanted to touch it up and see if, if it could work. And I got one of these on a recommendation. And I, I was actually quite impressed. This does work. If you have bleached hair, these kinds of colors will settle into it pretty well. I am tempted now. I, I've used this one twice so far this is a semi-permanent color it's not a permanent color so it's not going to, to stay there forever it's also going to wash out but i kind of like the process of washing out because it st starts pretty vibrant and then it fades into something really pastel and pretty um, so i like every stage of how this looked in my hair also i'm probably going to try other colors as well the purple was really lovely but i'm kind of now eyeballing the pink and i might want to try that on my hair so this actually worked really well. I would recommend you try it if you have bleached hair. I think you could ha have fun with colors that wash out uh, fairly fast. Um, it last one of these one of the applications, and I have fairly short hair, so an application is half and lasts me about um, I don't know a few weeks. I think it's a fun way to play around with color if you're wanting to play around with a colorful hair. I think if you want to play around with colorful hair and try out what looks good on you, do this. I think this is quite good for what it is for sure. Plus, fairly affordable. Let's move on to self-care or personal hygiene items. First, deodorant. And I like to include deodorants because I am kind of on a hunt for, for, a, for good uh, clean deodorants. And this is one of them. I did enjoy this. I don't enjoy every deodorant I try. This one was pretty good. This is La Vanilla, Pure Vanilla, the healthy deodorant. Um, this was my travel size deodorant that I hauled around with me to conferences and vacations and stays uh, in a neighboring town, etc., etc. So um, this is my was my travel deodorant and it did not disappoint. It was easy to wear. It was good to apply. It's a little bit more firm than the Schmitz. The Schmitz is a little bit more creamy. So as you're applying it, sometimes it can either, you know, dispense a little, if you dispense a little too much, it can either ball up or kind of spread a little bit onto the top of the deodorant and then it's a bit messy. This one doesn't do that. So um, logistically, I think it's nicer to use in terms of packaging, um, but I, I, this is much more expensive than the Schmitz. So I still go with the Schmitz, to be honest. I do recommend it though, if you want to splurge a little bit on your deodorant, this is really, really, really nice. So. I have only tried the pure vanilla, but I have another one in my stash, a full size that I'm probably going to pull out next and use. And uh, I'm enjoying it enough that I repurchased. Yes, that's right. I recommend for sure. And the other hygiene item that I wanted to talk about is my pearl bar. 
natural whitening toothpaste with activated ch charcoal and uh, bentonite clay. Um, if you know my channel, you know that I love trying cleaner beauty. I'm not exclusively clean beauty freak uh, or clean beauty blogger. That's not what I do, but I really, really prefer if my products are clean. This is really nice and clean. They sent me a toothbrush, which was not good. I don't recommend. And this toothpaste, which I do recommend. And I think there's a really, really nice place for it within the industry. This is, however, not my favorite and I won't be purchasing it myself um because it has the activated charcoal i thought the toothpaste was fairly effective it was just like average min mintiness in terms of flavor um and it it does claim that it's whitening because the charcoal i didn't notice any extra whitening and i used up the entire tube so i'm not sure what to say to you about this claim but it did a good job cleaning my teeth and i enjoyed it and i knew i would because it has my um my favorite ingredient with bentonite clay I love clay-based toothpaste. I think they do the best job out of all natural toothpastes. Um, I enjoy them far more than charcoal-based ones, although this one does contain charcoal as well. Um, and uh, baking soda-based ones. I like these ones, the clay ones, the best. Um, my very favorite is Zion Health in the green tube. I'm also trying it in the white tube, and I think it's okay in the white tube. It's also claiming to be more whitening, clearly. I try to whiten my teeth with toothpaste paste and I just I just need to get some strips this this is not gonna cut it I don't think so uh, my favorite is still the Zion health in the green tube this is fine I enjoyed it but I won't be buying it again as on health is much cheaper as well besides one thing to keep in mind with toothpaste that contain activated charcoal is the fact that they're gray or black in color as you see this one's dark gray um, and it kind of leaves the sink messy when you're done so I don't personally feel like I need to fuss as much with the light color toothpaste as I do with the ones containing charcoal, but I thought it was decent. Oh my goodness, let's talk about nails. I have a lot this 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 uh, month. One uh, base coat that I used up, and this is Butter London Horsepower Nail Fertilizer. I thought it was fine. I didn't think it was great. I don't recommend it. Nail foundation, however, which I'm using right now, and which is what is underneath this beautiful polish ball polish right now. Um, I have to say that I like much better. So the nail fertilizer, not great. Nail foundation, much, much, much more impressed with. So I may repurchase nail foundation, but I still, it's just, I've been using it for a few weeks only. Um, this one, however, eh, to me was a hard pass for sure. And then three colors, all of them were in my project polish. Let's start with a mini. This is OPI Tickle My Francy. I love this polish. I have it in the full size as well. I'll definitely be including it in uh, my project polish at some point. But generally, I really, really, really enjoy having this polish in, on my on rotation in my collection. I think it's fantastic. I've used up the mini because I was traveling, like I said, more this month, and I was happy to have it. Uh, I used up a Chanel Ampris in 569. This was my nude. I think it's fine. I won't be repurchasing it. Um, and you know the OPI one tickle my friends. I already repurchased so obviously I recommend it um, This was a limited edition from SC. That's absolutely empty as well. And that's chow effect. That was my spring pick um, So I use it for the spring transition fall uh, winter to spring spring and, and most of the summer and then now it's completely done I am not going to be Repurchasing this first of all, it's going to be a bit of a pain to find and secondly I have tons of purples and this was a really nice dusty purple um, if you see it somewhere, I would suggest you pick it up if it looks good against your skin tone. For me, it was a really nice polish. I enjoyed using it absolutely, for sure. But I was a little sick of it by the time I got to the end of it. And if you, you know, if you pan polishes, then you know that it's a challenge. Let's move on to skincare. A couple cleansers. I have this guy and the label came off. But this is... Um, actually from the body shop if you know I kind of starting to get through my body shop backups this was their chamomile uh, cleansing oil I think it was fine I don't recommend it I think you can do better in, in terms of quality for cleansing oil their balm is better as well from the same line for in terms of uh, removing makeup or heavier makeup the oil was fine it almost it, it emulsifies it acts like a very very basic oil cleanser I don't think it's worth your time and the other cleanser I also well I don't know if I recommend it. I recommend it for other people, but not for me. This is Ole Hen Henriksen 
Uh, says for anti-aging for all skin types and this is african red tea foaming cleanser looks like this i had it in a mini and i had it in my travel bag so i used it while i was away a lot this is too drying for me even in the summer so if you have oilier or combo skin i think you might like it i have dry skin and even in the summer when my skin is at its oiliest and it's not oily at all even then it's too drying squeaky clean too dry so I, I'm not so sure that I recommend it for dry skin but and I can't promise that for oily skin it's going to be better but I imagine that it would be actually it smells really nice it smells very citrusy people really like this cleanser for me though dry skin nah -uh. mm -mm. this it dried me out more then I had a scrub mask from soap and glory this is called the fab pore facial peel didn't do a ton of peeling this to me was like a clay based mask I used it in the summer it smelled nice like all soap and glory products I, th I thought it was a pretty decent intensive says intensive uh, action pore refining treatment I don't think it was super intense I don't think it you know transformed the way my pores looked like but my skin if it was congested responded well to it but I think any clay uh, mask would probably do a very very similar thing I don't think it peeled a whole lot either it did have tiny particles on it so if you really rubbed it in then then it did do some manual exfoliation I don't know I I thought it was good but I didn't think that it was mind-blowing and to the point where I would repurchase it I don't think I recommend it the last thing though I really would recommend and if you're watching my empties that's a good way to sort of gauge how, what I thought about the about about a product I basically get rid immediately of things that I really don't like and the things that are fine doable etc I will keep in I'll finish up and then I won't recommend to you and the things that I absolutely love I will emphasize that I do recommend and this is one of them this is the facial radiance pads from first aid beauty 28 pads in here um, and I think this is great for travel if you are somebody who travels I think this is fantastic there is a combo of glycolic and lactic acid there uh, are really nice ingredients in here skin loving ingredients good extracts glycerin for moisturization I thought these were excellent the, this is a really good formulation and fantastic packaging for travel purposes so I think I will pick up another one of these specifically for travel purposes it's a very nice resurfacing very gentle resurfacer basically is what it is um, so chemical chemical exfoliant if you will so if you're interested these are really great I think they're, they're worth the money and I think they're a good 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 staple product you won't probably won't regret unless you're you you're you have unless you have this skin that requires like really severe peels like you require th thermal action there you require some some hardcore stuff then maybe this is not going to be enough but I don't suspect that a lot of people are in that realm I'm certainly not I think gentle exfoliation on ongoing basis is the way to go and I think these did a very very good job okay makeup this is kind of makeup not really makeup this is Clarence uh, radiance plus golden glow booster these are sort of tanning drops self tanning drops for the face so oftentimes you know if you go on vacation you wear lots of SPF in, on your face but your body you don't reapply as much and you get a bit of tan on the body but mismatched face this is kind of when I would use these these you can tell I have a little bit more in there but it's expired it's only good for 18 months and I've had it for two years so it's time to you know to, to dump this but I think this is really great if you do want to tan your face a little bit. It's a very natural tan. I'm not sure how it would work on darker skin. I've recommended this in the past and I think it's a really great product. This is my second vial of it. Um, so I think quite a situational product and also good for you guys if you self tan. I don't at all. Wouldn't know first thing of how to do it at all. But this one I really enjoy having around vacation time so that I can kind of match my face and my body and not wear makeup. So these are really great. They do they do work. It's effective. But I don't think um, it's necessary if you don't self tan all the time and you don't catch a ton of sun if you know for me I'm not I don't tan I don't go out in the sun and, and bake myself so um, this I don't it only happens when I go away on, on holidays and it's just an incidental thing that happens okay um, a big deal I finished up a highlighter and this is a cream highlighter well it's called cream blush but it's really a highlighter it's a La Mosca Lies if you watch my project um, project pan that was in there now it's done I'm very glad to be done with it because I was kind of getting sick of using it as well I think it's really good but I have a better recommendation than this for you um, although I enjoyed 
this particular like wet looking highlighter that stays slightly tacky. I like it with my dry skin. If you have oily skin, you probably won't and it won't stay on your oily skin. On dry skin, this works really well. But um, instead of this, I would say get one of the highlighters from RMS Beauty. They're better quality and they're clean. So, and they produce a similar look, a little bit less tackiness though. So I think this is very, very good. And I do recommend it if you love Ilha Mosca, but I think RMS is probably a better choice. So in the end, I suppose I recommend RMS, not Ilha Mosca. The last makeup product is this Tardis mascara. I'm sort of on the lookout for cleaner mascaras right now. What is on my lashes, as you can see, is this one. It's Black Oil by Josie Marin, Argan Black Oil Mascara. And this needed a bit of drying out to get to this point. I do enjoy it, but I mean, it's not the best mascara I've ever used. Tardis was really, really good too. I traveled with that one as well. Um, I thought it was an excellent mascara. Uh, I did buy it already in full size, so I suppose I recommend it for sure, yeah. Okay, fragrances and then we're done. Um, I finished a large bottle of A Vintage Bloom by Jessica Simpson. This is my second bottle that I finished up. I will be buying it again. This is a nice, sweet floral um, with a little bit of candy in the base and a little bit of uh, peony at the top. And this is one of the loveliest peonies I've smelled in a long time. I've been buying this one for years. Like I said, it's not my, not my first bottle. I totally recommend it to you if you like girly florals with a lot of sweetness. This is lovely. This is so lovely and so great for the price and it, it really lives well on your skin. It has a very refreshing citrus. I think like a, a no-brainer. Definitely a really, really good fragrance pick from an affordable line and unfortunately if you know my channel you know that i am not a huge fan of affordable lines however jessica simpson i think has a very very good line so does taylor swift um so celebrity lines aren't necessarily hu hugely disappointing at least this line isn't and specifically this fragrance i absolutely recommend please 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 check it out if you are a fan of that type of a fragrance then if you watched my recent transitional video you saw this guy and this is clean reserve citron fig um, this was a transitional scent for me for sure from summer to fall. I'm glad that it's done because I don't see myself wearing it in the fall. I have other things that I'd rather wear. I think it's nice. I think it's it's a, a really good scent. I have a separate review on it. I'll direct you there because uh, we can't spend forever talking about it. A thing that really got me excited for fall and fall scents is Narcissa 